They say there's a war coming around these parts. Read about it in your newspapers and in your magazines. Watch it on the TV. And you hear about it on the radio. But I got a few words for you, world. And those words are that Francis Kilpatrick waits for no war. And as you can see here, folks, I have rid myself of all worldly possessions that do not matter to me. And those are but the bare essentials to Francis Kilpatrick. If you will be so kind as to look around here, folks, you will notice that there is no longer a television, no more furniture, and no clothes but the clothes on the back of Francis Kilpatrick. Because to Francis Kilpatrick and to all those who have any real value in this world, they know that there is but one thing only that matters in this world, and that is the personal beliefs of yourself. And now, folks, I will take you to my compound, where I will outlast and ultimately survive this infestation known by man as Wawa. Come with me. I sold all the worldly possessions that did not matter to me or benefit me. One of those possessions happened to be my dog, and every man knows that every man needs companionship. And in this moment, my sole companion will be my pickaxe. We have seen many a hard time and we'll undoubtedly see several more. But as we have in the past, we shall continue to push through and survive. Friends forever, I guess. I would like to introduce you all to my fine Jezebel Dolores. Sweet, sweet Dolores. <laughs> Dolores has provided me with the sweet sustenance I hold here in my hand that will help Francis stay both physically, mentally, and emotionally strong during these trying times. Thank you, Dolores. <laughs> <laughs> Dolores. <laughs> While some of you may believe that there would be many drawbacks to a life of seclusion, but really I just look at it as the ability to do whatever, whenever I please. You could say that I have a lot of free time on my head. Hands. One, two, three, five! Oh.